Tilling the soil has been practiced by farmers throughout the world to control weeds and to prepare a seed bed for crops. Plowing and other mechanical disturbances of the soil, such as harrowing and rototilling shown here, destroy the structure of the soil, and this often results in erosion. Rototilling can lead to the loss of soil organic matter, and soil organic matter is important because it conserves soil nutrients. Here is an example of what can happen to a field that uses regular tillage in degraded soils like those found in the Georgia Piedmont. There are alternatives, such as no-till planting. Cover crops and conservation tillage are practiced more and more by large-scale commodity farmers as alternatives to plowing and rototilling. You see, instead of now going and rototilling or tilling all this stuff into the soil and turning it over and disturbing the soil so that, you're, so that you would oxidize the soil organic matter, what we're doing is, is leaving these, this, this cover crop in, in, in place. Here we show how cover crops and no-till planting can prevent erosion, control weeds, decrease water loss, and increase soil organic matter. Winter cover crops in Georgia are often mixes of rye, crimson clover, and winter peas. They are planted in September or October by broadcasting the seeds and then using a cultipacker to pack the seeds into the summer cash crop soil. The seeds germinate and begin growth. When cold weather arrives, the growing stops. Four months later, in February, this is what the cover crop looks like. We'll be doing some no-till uh, seed planting out here into this bed and uh, uh, be uh, knocking down the rye and knocking down the, rolling it over flat, forming a mulch. But uh, I think it's important to, to, to notice the difference between uh, how, how it grows. In other words, we plant it in the fall and it stays just about like this for November, December, January, February. And then in March, middle of March, it starts to, starts to go and then by mid-April or late April, when we're going to do the next shot, uh, the uh, it'll be it'll be uh, almost waist high. The rye produces biomass. The biomass residue prevents weeds from sprouting up. In the springtime, the clover and the peas add nitrogen to the soil. Spring arrives. By early May, the cover crops look like this and it is time for the roller crimper. This piece of equipment flattens the cover crop so the field is ready for seed planting. And timing is important. You want to begin crimping early so you can plant your spring or summer crop, but to get good results, you have to wait until the crop goes to seed. How does a roller crimper work? The weight of the barrel rolls the cover crop flat. The angle irons on the roller do not cut the stems, but crimp them. Crimping kills the cover crop and creates a thick, weed-suppressing mulch without the use of herbicides. Instead of the no-till we showed earlier, sometimes it's better to strip-till. This works in a similar way to the no-till planter with one exception. The strip-till planter has two chisel plows that open narrow strips through the cover crop residue into the mineral soil below. If the residue from the cover crop is too thick, the seedlings may not be able to penetrate through. Opening a strip with the strip tiller ensures that the germination and growth of the seedling is not blocked. The strip till planter can also be used for opening up strips for vegetable seedling transplants. Here we are transplanting by hand, but there are tractor-mounted planters for large-scale plantings. Notice how the rye is preventing weeds from sprouting. In these rows, we planted beans and sorghum as pig feed. And this is the strip-tilled plot on July 12th. The corn here was planted in late June, 
The beans were planted one week ago. The corn needs a head start on the beans, and the beans use the corn stalks as climbing poles. This is an example of a field that was crimped with the roller too early, when the rye was still in flower. As a result, the rye did not prevent germination and the growth of weeds. If you want to plant a summer crop with seeds, you will want to first mow the crop. To prepare the soil for seeding, we use a machine called a spader. Unlike the rototillers and plows, a spader loosens the soil without turning it over. The organic matter can be oxidized when soil is turned over. The spader pushes the residue into the soil. The result? A plot with increased soil organic matter and increased soil fertility. On this site, we broadcast summer cover crops. Here we see beans and Sudan grass. And here we see sun hemp. It is a legume and fixes nitrogen. In the fall, we will spade it into the soil where it will give a good boost to soil organic matter. Preventing soil erosion and building soil organic matter are key to sustainable agriculture. Cover cropping and conservation tillage are the tools to do it.